Hello, Southside families. My name is Marie Darling, and I'm going to show you how you can use our COVID screening app called Cleared for School each morning before coming onto campus to check in your student. This is a program that you will be doing at home before getting into your vehicle to come to school. So you should have received an email from no reply at farforward.com. And this is your invitation to go ahead and log into our system. So you can see here that I am just using a sample um, student and I have a temporary password here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy my temporary password. And what you're going to do is from within inside that email, go ahead and click on this app cleared for school login. When you do that, it will bring you into your login page. As you can see here, I've already logged on before, so it remembered mine. But I'm gonna go ahead and change this to sample. And this will be, it has to match whatever email it is that you got your message on. I'm gonna put in my temporary password, and then we're going to click login. So there's some policy approvals that our Cleared for App program needs us to agree to. So you're going to have to click on to these first two ones. So we have the privacy policy statement. So we're going to click on that and we will scroll down and agree to those terms. And then the next one is the terms and conditions. And you have to click on each of those before you can agree to them agree to those terms. And then these other ones here, you don't have to open, they've already been there for you. So we're just going to check those and then hit accept. Okay, since you're using a temporary password, you are required to set your password. So go ahead and type in whatever password you would like to and we'll change our password. My password has been updated, so we're gonna log in with our new password. All right, so I'm going to erase the temporary password they gave us, put in my new password. No, we don't need to save that. So here you can see, you'll see your email, and I have two students. I have lion and I have lamb for our mascots, the lions and the lambs. So what you're going to do each day is if you have uh, two children, you will see one of these boxes for each one of your children. If you only have one student here at Southside, you will only see one box. So we're gonna go ahead and click on go to daily screening and we're gonna check on lion here. We're gonna get them ready to go. So the first time only is going to ask you in the past 14 days. After you have done this, that time will adjust to how many days it has last been since you've checked in. So we're gonna go through these questions. They're very similar to what you experienced at going to the doctor's office or a dentist if you've had any appointments since this all happened in March. So I'm going to say no, no fever you'll notice that it automatically advances. You don't have to hit the next button. I can just keep on um, clicking either yes or no, whichever is appropriate. Have I had a cough? No. Shortness of breath? Nope. Unusual fatigue? No. Body aches? Headaches? Loss of taste or smell? Sore throat? So we're gonna go through these questions and you'll go through these each morning when you come, before you come to school. All right, we're almost done. You can see along the top that it's changing there for us. And is my current temperature equal to or greater to 100.4? It's really important that you take the temperature at home before coming to school. This will help keep all of us safe. Our temperatures will be taken again when you get to school. So we're going to acknowledge that everything that I've said is true today, and I can go ahead and hit submit. You can see that based on this, I am given the green light. I get to come to school. And there we have it. Lion is all checked in. All right, so I've checked Lion in. 
And now I'm going to go to lamb. So I'm going to say, yes, I have, lion has had a fever. So we're going to say yes to that one. And then I'm going to just show you no on the other ones, just so that you can see what has happened. Again, as I mentioned earlier, it will change right now. It's all saying in the past 14 days that will change when we check in the next time. Okay, I acknowledge that everything is true and I hit submit. Uh oh, we get the stop sign. So this means that lamb is not clear to come to school for this day. You're going to call the office for further instructions and then we will go from there. So this is what you're going to do each day. You can't see that you have done it. Um, we can see it on our end and we can see what is going on and make sure that everything is good to go. So that is how we will uh, log in each day. So I'm going to go ahead and log out. I would highly recommend that you bookmark this website that you were given, the app cleared4school.com slash login. And I just wanted to show you when we log in the next day, we can see that I still have my two students here. All right, when I go to click on lamb, so you can see here, now it's changed to in the past 24 hours. So that will have been like the next day. All right, guys, well, that is it. That's how we will do our screening. And we hope that to see you even more here at school when it is safe to do so. Thanks everyone.